Uh, good morning, here we are in the middle of February down at Sovereign Harbour and we are looking at the Azimuth Magellano 43, uh, 2019 model that we've got up for sale. Stainless work all the way through the Magellano range. Uh, area out front for sun pad cushions, which have uh, tilting backrests. There's big windows in the side. It's got uh, upgraded uh, vinyl ester gel resin on this. It makes it uh, shinier and whiter. Yeah. It's got uh, radar on this, Bimini, VHF's already fitted. is in need of a bit of a clean at the moment but it's the middle of winter we're just waiting for another clean uh, the cleaner to be doing this one and coming around we've got the uh, the teak option all the way around it's got the uh, passerelle on the back we fitted the uh, the all-round covers it does have flybridge covers as well this boat uh, both for the seats uh, the table and an all-over flybridge cover as well Step on board. Okay. All right. Coming into the cockpit, but nice, uh, big, beefy stainless gate here. Uh, access up to the side decks, which are really nice and wide, uh, with proper gunnels, so it feels really nice and safe. High stainless steel rails. Just have a little. Undo <laughs> <Can't> that. <laughs> Squeeze out of that. Uh, waste for nav lights all the way around. So we've got a nice deep tow rail. Uh, this is this area, so we've got ventilation hatches. This is the area where the sun pads would go. Escape hatch for the forward cabin. Uh, big beef up cleats, fair leads. Got an anchor wash on this as well. Uh, electric windlass. See the aerial. Nice little feature on this boat is just down the side. Uh, it does have this opening um, gateway here in the top of the rail, so that if you were mooring side on, or say a fuel pontoon, you could get off the side there. Squeeze back in here. Right, here we are into the cockpit. So we have uh, L-shaped seating in the cockpit. See drainage areas behind the bucket there. Any water that came flying over the side. Again, big beefed up stainless cleats and fair leads. There is an insert cushion as well uh, for that section at the back. It sits there permanently. Proper GRP stairs going up to the flybridge. I won't go up there at the moment. It's um, not set up, but it's nice up there. Got a single helm seat, uh, helm station as usual. Right, um, bifold doors here, all fold away into that area, slide across. Now, just to point out, there is a little bit of a step here, but basically, that is due to its CE certifications. Uh, there is obviously that's stopping any water that might come into the cockpit that's going to run into the, uh, into the saloon area. Got a hard floor area here. This section all comes up um, if you needed to do any major engine works. But the uh, engine hatch is here. We'll come back to that in a minute. So going around the galley area here, we have uh, melee appliances. So we've got our oven here, um, ceramic tops, storage area above. We've got an opening side window here, all with blinds. Uh, just under here, we have more storage areas, just a little larder storage. Uh, single sink with stainless tap. Under here, we have there's a bin, oh, and a spare bin. Uh, nice feature with all the azimuth uh, stuff is how we deal with the crockery and cutlery. So the cutlery all has its own specific spots, as you can see. And then going further down, we've got a, uh, a large pan set never been used by the uh, by the owner of this boat okay 
stepping across this side, uh, we've got uh, air conditioning controls, lights, etc. Small storage area. This is the uh, fridge freezer, which is in here, which is a large. Um, there we go. Three bottles of water, freezer below. There we go. Then uh, down the starboard side here we have a uh, sideboard unit. Again, in here we have a uh, storage cupboard, fire extinguisher. Then in this one is where we have all the um, crockery. Basically, again, all in drawers. So it's all china crockery, so it all can't rattle around. This one has my espresso cups. We go down more, more, oh, hello, more mic away. For some reason, there we go. Some plates at the bottom there. I don't know what's happened to that one? Oh, needs adjusting. Okay, carpets through the middle of the saloon, and then coming here, uh, we've got a uh, a table that can fold in half. I'm just going to step backwards so you can get the full view of this. So we've got nice wraparound seating, the table in the middle. There is also a small stool seat that fits into that fitting there. Uh, so you can then put another stool here, so then you can sit all the way around the table. Okay. So triple wipers on the screen, good field of visibility from the helm position. So you'd be sitting somewhere of that sort of position, nice and easy to see. You have side window as well. Uh, just going backwards a little bit, but this is the electrical panel. Uh, so we can see the shore power's on, we've got a stereo, uh, put a small heater on here as well just to keep it all nice. Okay, then the, uh, the helm position here, we've got the VHFs already fitted. Uh, we have obviously a single helm station on this, uh, sorry, single helm seat. Um, we have the Cummins engines on here, so we've got throttle controls, uh, engine controls. We've got a large Raymarine plotter screen. Uh, Mercury Cummins engine control system. It does also come with the uh, the joystick control system, so we've got the bow thruster controllers on here, but this will actually operate the engines, uh, and you can twist the boat, and it, so you don't necessarily need the throttles. You can control the boat with the joystick. We also have autopilot uh, and chain counter and a searchlight. Okay, again you can see big beefy railings everywhere. Okay, there, we've got a few steps going down the stairs. Going into this area. Then going into the owner's cabin, okay, which has got a nice island bed. We have mirrors all the way around. Nice side windows with opening portholes. Okay, just spinning around here. Okay, you can see. It's nice. Then we've got uh, wardrobe space either side. So this one's hanging locker, which is full length. And then the other side, uh, we have one that has uh, storage areas in it. We have a uh, TV all very fitted in this cabin. And then just here we have uh, access through to the, uh, the ensuite for the owner's cabin, which is all electric flush toilets. Uh, we've got its own separate shower, which is a really good height as well. So there's plenty of room to be standing up in there. I know some are quite short. Uh, bit of storage area, nice sink, nice big opening porthole, all stainless steel. Okay, and we go back out again, back out into the uh, into the hallway, and then just going left here. This is the day heads. So again, electric flush separate shower compartment which again is a decent size for a second heads uh, and the sink porthole mirrors the other one really okay and then round to the port side we have uh, this is the second cabin which is a twin cabin again they're all air conditioned uh, we have some storage space down the side with a hanging locker storage areas here and then we have two single bunks Again, nice and airy. I mean, I'm standing up at this point. There is slight compromise on this side, but actually this side is really good headroom. Again, nice big window, 
uh, and an opening porthole. Okay, and coming back out of here, what's quite unusual on a 43 footer is we then have this third cabin, which on some models is a utility area, but on this one we've got it as a third cabin. Okay, these are the cushions for the uh, various sun pads when the tables drop. So this has just got a single bunk in it. Uh, it's quite a lot lower in here, as obviously the helm position is above. Uh, nice big locker here, which would have had a, you, there was an option for a uh, washer dryer to go in there. Uh, might be a bit of a struggle to get one in now. Might have to take the doors off and things. Okay, then going back up, you can see, so looking back, this is the, uh, the setup. It's all one level all the way through, going through the saloon, out into the cockpit area. We've already fitted the TV on this one. Okay, and then coming out here, just to show you the, uh, the engine access. Excuse my shoes. Right. That's all on a gas strut, so it's not too heavy. Okay, really good access through here. You can see it's all uh, it's all finished off in uh, with a with a mould through the bottom of the boat. So everything's nice and uh, nice and beautifully finished. Okay, this is uh, this is the generator. You probably saw as I was getting in. Uh, air conditioning system, hot water cylinder. We go into uh, hydraulic steering system at the back and hydraulics for the uh, the platform. Um, air conditioning units here. Sorry, the one before that was the AC controls. We've got split fuel tanks. Um, which are I'm sure what they're made of, of their steel tanks. We've got twin Raycor filters either side. Again, all the uh, all the seacocks and everything are labelled. All have their uh, strainers. These are the main engine ones, and these are the Cummins engines. Okay, all in nice condition. Got uh, that's the 220 volt consumer unit box. Then this is the battery box for service and engine batteries, so they're all in one spot. There's nothing hidden away in a cabin somewhere. Okay, that's the other engine port side. Another nice little feature on these boats is, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just going to point with it with my foot. This here, uh, with this switch over here, is a, uh, an engine powered bilge pump. So if you were taking on a lot of water, you could um, actually run the engine, uh, flip that lever over, and rather than taking water from the, through the bottom of the boat, through the seacock, it would take it through that strain of there, uh, and all the water would suck out the bottom of the boat to go through the engine and out the back of the boat. Uh, it's quite rare on this sort of size of boat. It tends to be a, more of a big boat thing. Okay, so, um, so we are due a clean uh, on the upstairs bit. So we haven't put the cushions out um, and we're just waiting for the valeter. So I'll do the, uh, do the upstairs another day. Uh, thanks very much, hope you enjoyed it.